Welcome, I'm Jason with Cerakote. Today we're going to demonstrate the procedure of changing the dress pack on your Cerakote robot. The tools required for this project are a standard and metric Allen wrench set, adjustable wrench or equivalent wrench set, a flat blade screwdriver, flush cutters, and fluid line cutter or razor blade. Obviously you will need your dress pack, some tape, PTFE thread tape, zip ties, and any additional fittings that may need to be replaced during the inspection process. Using a 4mm Allen, remove the first spray gun. Photograph the orientation of all pneumatic lines and depress the orange collar while pulling the hose to remove. Follow the same procedure for removing spray gun too. After disconnecting all of the pneumatic hoses, pull them out of the end of arm tooling to gain access to the fluid line nut. Use a wrench to remove the nut from the top of the fluid tee that retains the line. Upon removal, release the clamp that holds the dress pack to the robot. Depress and release the latch on the remaining system holders. Cut any zip ties or remove fastening devices that are holding lines out of the way and disconnect from the manifold. Remove the protective sleeving. And note the orientation of the two trigger airlines. Depress the collar and release the hose. Using a wrench, remove the final nut from the fluid system. And carefully remove the dress pack from the robot. This completes the removal of the old dress pack. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, remove the first two screws from one manifold. Using a wrench, remove both nuts from the short section of fluid line. Using the two supplied sections of fluid line, bend them in a 90 degree shape and install the old nuts from the original assembly. Make sure the compression fittings have the taper flared out. Thread the assembly back together to both the T and the manifold and tighten with a wrench. Hand thread the manifold screws to hold it in place before tightening the fluid line. Use a wrench to gently hand tighten. Align the manifold to the end of arm tooling with an adjustable wrench and use a 6mm wrench to tighten the two bolts. Repeat this process for the opposite manifold. Install the fluid line from the new dress pack into the T and tighten the nut with a wrench. Install the new dress pack into the system holder and latch. Feed through the pneumatic lines for spray gun 1 and push to connect each connection 
based on the photograph you took at the beginning of the process. Make sure proper orientation is followed for operation of the robot. Repeat this process for Spray Gun 2. Latch the remaining system holders and pay careful attention to the direction the dress pack needs to be oriented. Depress the final clamp of the system holder and utilize the labels on the supply side to match each air hose connection. Tie up any loose connections with a zip tie or equivalent fastening device up out of the way where the area scanner will not detect them. If using a zip tie, be careful not to pinch any of the pneumatic hoses. Replace the spray gun 1 and 2 trigger airlines. For orientation, reference your original photo. Following installation, replace the vinyl wrap that protects the assembly. Install the nut and new compression ferrule with the taper facing outward into the ball valve. Begin threading the nut and tighten with an adjustable wrench. Load approximately one quart of acetone into the pressure pot and pressurize the system. Make sure to leave the fluid valve off for this step. Open the maintenance menu and begin a clean system. Allow the robot to articulate down into the purge bucket before opening the fluid valve. Allow the system to run completely out of acetone. And this will conclude the replacement process. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit saracote.com and see our other videos and tutorials on YouTube.